The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So for number 10, we're supposed to find all the x-intercepts of a function. Remember that the x-intercepts are when the y is equal to 0. So our function here, y equals sine of x over 4 plus pi. We want this to equal 0 if we're going to be finding the x-intercepts. We want the entire function to be 0. So now we just need to do a couple logic steps before we get to the actual algebra. So we want sine of something to be 0. So first you want to ask yourself, when is the sine function 0 at all? So if you just had sine x, sine x equals 0, where is that true? Well, that's where x is equal to n pi. <clears throat> Any multiple of pi, including 0, makes sine of x equals 0. So this whole interior part has to be n pi if we want this function to equal 0. So now we set those two things equal to each other. So we have x over 4 plus pi has to be n pi. Well, now we just want to solve for x. You can see here, if you subtract pi, if n is any integer, right? So this means any integer of pi. If we subtract pi from that, we still have every integer of pi. That doesn't change anything. Because you could still get every possible integer if you subtracted 1 uh, from it. So we just have this, and then finally x equals 4n pi. So we, need, we can have every possible integer of pi that is a multiple of 4. So to get some of the values, since it's uh, your multiple choice answers here are not written in terms of the general answer, they're given as a list. To find some, just start with 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2 to see what happens here. You can see if you plug in 0, 0 definitely has to be an answer. So that leaves only C and D right away. If you plug in 1 and negative 1, we have to have 4 pi and negative 4 pi. Well, that still includes C and D. And, but C has other numbers there that we can't have, so that shows you. But just to check again, if you plug in 2 and negative 2, we get 8 pi and negative 8 pi. The only one that has all of these is choice D. So this is a pretty common type of question. So what you want to do is always take your trig function, whether it be sine, cosine, tangent, whatever, find out where it's normally 0, and then set your more complex uh, argument equal to that and solve for x. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.